your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or woman. Put your name on it. Oh, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. If you wanna battle with either that's it. Well, like that's wrong with you. know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Hey, man. stories john dimaggio at the john dimaggio come on flames come on flames hi kids <clears throat> you are hi uh, warriors hi warriors if you want more of your t-shirts uh go to jmore.com and if you want to see where i'm doing stand-up comedy look i'm on the east coast I'll, right now when you're listening to this i'm in new york long island connecticut Atlantic City, New Jersey, bananas. Yo, he, he's up in the tri-state, baby. Can you dig it? I can dig it. That's all right. Come see me do comedy. That's why we do the podcast. You guys can come uh, see live stand-up comedy. And if you want a More Stories t-shirt, go to jmore.com. Or if you want to hit the Amazon banner at jmore.com, Johnny DiMaggio, you can buy John DiMaggio's movie called I Know That Voice because Johnny yes. is an incredible voiceover actor. Thank you. And uh, one and, of the most. And I, did, I did a movie. I did a movie about uh, voice acting and about the voice actors and the people in it and the whole kind of, you know, uh, kind of basically a backstage pass to the business. And um, it's been doing really well. You can catch it out. Uh, you can catch it on iTunes. Uh, go to our website. I know that voice. But preferably, they want to go to Amazon through the jmore.com. Yeah, website. they do. They Click do want to go Amazon through that. Banner. They do <laughs> want to go through that. <laughs> they do want to go through that. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. That's actually the way to go. Yeah. If you're a warrior, gotta dance, gotta sing, gotta a- zoom, gotta zing, zing zoom. It is available on hard copy through. Uh, um, actually, we're putting it just out, digital we're putting right out, now. No, we're putting out a, a DVD. I just, I actually just signed a, a, a thing with a company that we're gonna have it on Amazon, like a DVD with bonus Wait, features. So it's not on Amazon yet. Um, no, you can order it. You can order it digitally through through Amazon. All right. So if you so, go to jmore.com, click the Amazon banner, and buy, I know that voice because what I loved about the movie is any look. When I listen to the radio, I'm always like, what does this guy look like? And then you meet them at a Laker game. It's like, hey, I'm uh, yeah. I'm Dave O'Brien from the afternoon. You're like, whoa, yeah. You, know, you don't. I didn't know you're a midget. And that's the whole thing. You know, you put a face to the voice, and it's kind of like, oh, 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 wow. That's really a, that. That's really some serious character acting. What yeah, you see doing. how talented these people are. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing about voiceovers, Johnny, that bothers me, and it seems to be that anytime there's a child that's a boy or a teenage boy, it's, it's always a 40 year old woman yeah. that lives in the valley. It's a little... like, hi, I'm Caillou, yeah. but my name is Pam, and I live on <laughs> Susquehanna in the San Fernando Valley. It's like, why? Why don't you just get the little boys you know play what? little boys? Because, well, because sometimes little, the little boys uh, um, don't don't meet the standards of the of the Act of harder. the production. Yeah. Act mm. harder. Um, that's. I mean, <laughs> should we reset why we? Did and plus, it? and plus, if you get a woman that can do a kid's voice, she can also do a woman's voice. She can also do a bunch of stuff. There's, you a, there's wor- a, and you don't have to worry about the labor laws. Yes, exactly, and that's uh, another reason. I mean, you know, the, what, what's the WC Field? Uh, WC never field? act with never, kids. Kids and a animals? hot chick or a dog. A hot chick. Yeah. Or, Is it or a hot chick? A really? woman. Never act with a. I think it was a buxom lady, a kid, or a dog. Wow. Because no one's looking at you. Wow. Buxom. 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 That's a WC field. That's a gr- that's a and then he drank a bottle that of word <laughs> right there is an awesome scrabble word. Sorry. Then he, then he fell asleep and farted. Uh, yeah. WC field. I don't think he really got <sighs> after it. Life wise. Oh. Here's the here's the thing. It was a sad day in my life as a child. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had an over under how long you did you make a fart sound? Wait, what did I you said say? two minutes oh, and yeah. you said six and I you came in at three. I came so in I at three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it. A sad day in my Daddy childhood. Daddy does fart sounds. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I was like 11 or 12 years old, and I was watching Woody Woodpecker one day, and it's like the voice of Woody Woodpecker, and it was the name of a woman. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, Something's yeah. askew. Yeah. I'm not saying women shouldn't work. I mean, I'm glad they vote. Hey, no, oh, sugar foot. I'm glad they vote. <laughs> Uh, go to jmore.com, click the Amazon banner. You know, if you have an Amazon uh, up here on your toolbar, you can just exchange that with jmore.com and click cool Amazon bar. through my website. And I'll read what you bought. Like my friend Rick Marsh, 
Look at this guy. JJ, been giving your Amazon banner a workout the past few months. My fiance lost all her stuff in an apartment fire. Oh, oh Rick. Oh, that sucks. Um, we've been slowly replacing everything at jmore.com, clicking the Amazon banner. Purchases include, but not limited to, about $300 worth of women's clothing, everything from dress pants to shoes. What did she get? Because <laughs> 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 that guy's married a son. <laughs> As we move back into our own place again, I'll be using it for a lot of bigger things to fill our home up. Thanks for the free entertainment uh, from the radio show and the podcast. I appreciate the last brother, Rick. Rick Marsh, I appreciate you, brother. Now you got, you know what you fill that house up with? You go to Amazon.com through jmore.com and you buy I Know That Voice. Yeah. John DiMaggio. Dingo and John Pam. fronted this whole thing himself. We're not going to get the finances, but I remember the TV show action. I remember I beat up a writer on the TV show in the script saying, you don't use your own money. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I got and high you, off my own supply. It you was, actually uh, put all yeah, your money yeah, where your mouth is. You put your and, name uh, on it. I put my, put your name on it. Be um, a man. Be a man. Put your name on it. I feel like we need to reset a few inside jokes. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Flames. Come, which has it devolved into like, come on, podcast. Every, everything, yeah, come on, everything. Johnny and I were real high. We were at a, mm, we were at a, on, a Flames uh, Rangers game. What, Matty, m- what Mumbly? Hold on. Mumbles from the Dick Tracy movie said something. Hi, Mumbles. Hi, guys. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> you said, come on, everything. I just went, mmm, come on, everything. <laughs> <laughs> we missed it. I smell Clorox. Oh, my God. What jizz is that? harder. Jizz, jizz harder. Let it flow. Let, gotta let the jizz, jizz flow. John DiMaggio and so me. So we're at the we're, we're at Madison Square Garden. Flames, Rangers. Uh, Mark Messier scored his 500th uh, goal that night. But they it was were a blowing day time. Out. It was a they were well, yeah they were blowing them out. We were day yes. drunk and day high. It, it, they were blowing them out, and it was it was <laughs> empty. It was it was it was, a, so, it was we don't know it, why it was against the flames. You know they were beating them like five one, and there you know the, the puck stopped, and it's all of a sudden it's unusually quiet in the <laughs> garden, and we were we were like midway like behind like the net on one end, and I just stood up and went. Come on, flames! And the whole garden like burst in laughter. Like <laughs> yeah. it was so ridiculous. <laughs> Skate harder. Skate harder. Um, but um, yeah. So that's where that came from. So anytime you hear us and on Jay Moore Sports on the radio show, like everything just goes like tweet harder. Yeah. You're at the dentist and it's like clean harder. Come it, on, Dan Byer. It all comes five at five harder. Yeah, it exactly. all comes Come from on, that. Come on, five at five. So it all just so you guys know. It all comes from that. Yeah. Um, before, so this guy is filling up his house with stuff. You ever had a fire happen to you ever? No, I never have. And I, would ne- I haven't I, either. I, yeah, I don't really believe in superstitions, but we're all yeah, knocking yeah, on wood yeah. here. Or at least, some, well, or maybe someone's at the are. door. Well, you know, I'm not. That's cold blooded, man. No, I just don't believe in knocking on wood. Never? No. Never. Okay. What about thunder? <laughs> lightning? <laughs> Everything in this frightening. Yes. You better knock. Oh, oh, would. Would. In, that, you in that case, baby. Yeah. Um, n- yeah, but I, I remember when I was a kid, the, the the house down the street got struck by lightning, and there was a fire. Struck by lightning, fucking idiots! Lightning fire. <laughs> well, hold on, man. Messed up. Man. How are they idiots? Yeah. Idiots. I love that. Dumbass. Fucking antennas. Dumbass. They brought it on themselves, dude. Dylan. Their antenna was higher than the other antennas. Yeah, stupid. In their house in that fucking spot. You know, stupid. I was on a plane that got struck by lightning what? three times. Three but times. I think should have went down, bro. Seven Where? seven seven. Over the Potomac, uh, going into DC. I was on a seven seven seven. Yeah. Bang! And the whole plane just go like luggage is coming out. The mask, the oxygen mask drop, and it was Fuck. like it was like driving over an IED. It, like it was nuts. And the pilot comes on quickly and goes, "We've been struck by lightning. This is a seven seven seven, and it's an enormous aircraft. It's uh, able to withstand in this pilot voice, you know, able to withstand lightning strikes. It's nothing to be worried about. We're fine. Next one. And as he's talking, it gets hit again. And the fucking guy never comes back on the mic. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you got to come back, check in with me, because the first time you're like, everything's fine. Dude. And we were fit. You know, you freaked we, out. I was pretty bad. I was, okay. I'll tell you exactly when it was. It was when Eric Clapton's uh, blues album came out. Like, if I mistreat you, yeah, yeah, child. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I just had that on my headphones. And I was just bugging out, like loving life, just sitting in first class, enjoying my life. And, you know, yeah, pie-eyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just listening to Eric Clapton, bang out the blues, bang out the blues, bang out the blues. 
And I was like, wow, that's crazy ass turbulence. But what made it crazy, it wasn't just regular turbulence. The first time I've ever been on a plane, only time in my life I've been on a plane, we were actually fishtailing, like when you're on a, in oh, a yeah. car. Oh, like yeah, that on, freaks you out, yeah. And I'm looking out my window, and we're about 400 yards above the Potomac. Like, we're coming in above the Potomac. We're coming in to land, and it ain't right. Yeah. And I go, wow, this is getting a little nutty. And I look behind me, and I've told a long version of the story on the Pete Holmes show, but I want you to do most of the talking today. Uh, Pete Holmes podcast, rather. Yeah, yeah. I look behind me, and the entire plane is holding hands. <sighs> and I go, well, I must have missed something. And like the Hasidic Jews are like rocking back and forth, and they're praying the Torah. People have their crosses out, and people are weeping. And I go, whoa. And I look at the flight attendants, I realize they're strapped in, and they got their arms folded, and their eyes are like squinting super tight. And I go, oh, my God. And then I said, uh, okay, God, this is all true. No, none of this is a, you know me. Yeah. I said, okay, if this is apparently real serious. And then all of a sudden I saw my entire life flash before my eyes, like a picture book. Like when you draw a stick figure and you make them walk as yeah. you flip it. And it was three things that I did in my life that was really horrible. I was 23 at the time, I guess. I mean, when I was a little kid, I was five years old. We had a dog named Scamper, and it always ran away, and it wouldn't give you any affection. I used to walk the dog into the woods, and I used to hit the dog with a stick because if I hit the dog enough, the dog would beg me for mercy and lick my face. And that was the only time the dog showed affection. I saw that. And then I saw two other things I did that were reprehensible involving human beings, and I, it scared the shit out of me. And I thought... If this is the story of my life before I hit the Potomac River, this ain't good. But then right as I had that thought, I saw a picture book. And this one was like volumes, huge, huge. Like it went on forever. And it was everyone I'd ever made laugh. Every audience member. I saw myself on stage like the Tempe Improv, you know, Boston Comedy Club. Like every human being that ever laughed at anything I said and any family member hugs my grandfather, all the, all, everything, any love that was ever shit just brrr, flipping through. And then when I saw that, I realized I was covered in sweat, like somebody dumped buckets and buckets of water all over my body. And I realized after the fact that that much joy that I just saw in my picture book, it cannot possibly be held in this vessel, in this yeah, container. Yeah, yeah. I was overflowing with joy and happy. And I went, all right, I've seen, I've seen it, the life. And the good was, you know... And I told God on that plane, if we die, let us just get struck by lightning and explode. Don't let my family see this thing going like ass over tea kettle on the news and like, you know, three days pulling people out. And then God said to me, human beings are the noblest of creatures because they are sent to earth to co-create with God. Like a, like how the news used to come out on a ticker tape, like da 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 da. And I go, what? And right when I said, what? Human beings, like I was being spoken to like a child, are the noblest of creatures. Like it was being typed out in my head. Like in a, you know when Snoopy would write a book, like yeah. that typewriter font? Yeah. It was like that in one line. Human beings are the noblest of creatures because they're sent to earth to co create with God. And I went, wow, all right, I'm dying. And I said, let us just get struck by lightning and explode, and I'm your servant forever in eternity i'm at your feet i'm yours and then right when i was done with that prayer boom third lightning strike and the plane just landed safely and i was like holy shit but like we were all alive and i i went to a church we, oh actually i went i was filming in richmond virginia and i went to a church to meet i had to talk to like somebody i was so freaked out so the next day i walked to a church and it was episcopalian church and I met with a minister and I said, I, and I told him everything that had happened. And he said, uh, well, God must have really big plans for you. And I said, that is horseshit. And he goes, excuse me? Because nobody ever talked to the guy. I go, that, look, there's 300 people on that plane. By the law of averages in this world, two of those people are child molesters. You know, 50 of them punch their wives in the face. Like, so the fact that all these people are alive because God has plans for me, like, then they should all be handing me roses and give me, uh, you know, neck massages. For the rest of my life, if I'm this most valuable commodity, yeah. like, what about everybody else that are yeah. scumbags? And then, then we actually had like a great conversation about it. But it was weird, man. Yeah, that's that. I never knew that, dude. That's a that's an insane story, dude. It, it's, it's a life changing. That's a life changing event. It gets especially weird, at, especially at a, like you know at an age at an age 
of, like that, you know? Just got to keep making them laugh. But here's the weird thing. I kept walking around in Richmond, Virginia, and I would I would have uh, I would dream that the plane crashed and it was pitch black and I could feel the water coming in from the back of the plane and then I would wake up. And that went on for like 3 days. And then when I was walking around Richmond, Virginia, like window shopping and stuff on my days off, it would happen to me like just as I was walking down the street, I would go like, "Whoa!" Wow! Like, like owner of a broken heart, like, <laughs> like that music video by Yes. <laughs> Did yourself da, 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 da. like when you just see like when the guy oh, sees like a fucking eagle yeah, in the yeah, courtroom yeah, and freaks yeah. out? It would happen like that. Oh, that's funny. And I realized it was a coin flip as to whether or not that plane was going down or not. And it came up heads, but for some reason, maybe it's because I was dialed in spiritually. And look, there's atheists that listen to this, and there's people that think I'm full of shit, but I don't care because this is what happened to me. I, for some reason, got a peek of the other side of the coin right before it hit the table. So that's what all those little flashes were like, whoa. Okay, I can dig it. Can you dig it? Hey, man, I can dig it. I told the pilot, fly harder. (laughs) I, that Fly was, harder! I like the people say the stupidest shit to you on airplanes when they're nervous. Yeah, I like when a guy goes next to you. Like, I go, "You all right?" And the guy goes, "Yeah, I just hope there's a good pilot up there." And I was like, <laughs> "But I go, is there any such thing as a bad pilot? Do you know, like, if you're the last pilot that graduates, you're still a, a you're pilot." Still a pilot. It's that's not like, like yeah, it's like that you know. You know what, what do you call a you know what do you call a a, a, a guy who graduates med school with a two point a doctor a doctor you know it's like you know it's the same thing yeah I, I just don't know if they give like the guy's diploma at the flight ceremony and they go bro you just made it <laughs> no actually I I had a for God's sakes fly slow I know you're old man from Vietnam I shouldn't even give you the diploma. You had a point nine GPA. <laughs> you know what? Just do Southwest. Yeah, just, back and forth yeah, to Oakland. Air, yeah, Air Tran. Air Tran. <laughs> Air Tran. <laughs> I actually had a buddy of mine, that, that w- fan's uncle, that went to <laughs> <laughs> that went to flight school, and uh, there are bad pilots and good pilots. And the way you know the good pilots and the bad ones is they have little like uh, little airplane stickers that they put on their uh, their fl- <laughs> airplane stickers, their, their flight helmets. Come like, on. Airplane stickers. Like college ball. Like Ohio State. Yeah. College ball? Really? He's pull- you got you. That's it. Ohio State, like all those Buckeye yes, stickers exactly. for a good game. You want a pilot yeah. whose hat is covered in, covered in good flight yeah, stickers. Covered in, covered in little plane stickers, yeah. You've got six stickers. Guess That's we're going not- to Ithaca. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardian to Ithaca, please. God, this is horrible. With a layover in Delhi. Hi, Marty. Hi, Marty. Marty Harder. How often do you you don't really fly that much? You're in LA just doing the voiceover no, stuff. I, I fly. I go to these conventions and stuff oh. like that. And, you know, and I and I I do a little bit of traveling myself. I like to take a little vacation here and there. Do you, um, but do I, you, I but I fly, you know I, I fly. Do you have a routine when you get on the plane? Because my shit's like mapped out. You know what? I I I do. I do have a routine. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm I'm fly, I'm leaving. A, I'm going to Australia. I'll be in Australia for two weeks, but I got to f- take that flight. That's a long oh. flight. Are you going to Steve Irwin's grave? To just give respect. Uh, totally, yeah. <laughs> totally going to Steve Irwin's grave. Yeah. What a douche! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fucking around with stingrays. Like, yeah, I'm gonna hold them boy's yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, leave him alone. Some the, the, the one of his best friends was at uh, South by Southwest talking about uh, how his last words were. His last words was, "I'm dying." <laughs> Which I mean, by like, like perfect zip zap zap. I mean, the thing just stabbed him like a shit ton of times or something like Do that. Do you think when he died because the stingray got him in the chest, like it was a hard shot from a stingray, like a stingray knew yeah. to hit him in the heart? Yeah, in the heart. Hey man, and hit him right in the heart. Do you think that crocodiles everywhere were like a fucking stingray? <laughs> <laughs> All we had to do was bite him. All we had to do is gang up on them, three of us at a time. Just from some yak. Right here. This one right. Ah, ah. I'm going to put my entire ball bag in his mouth and feed him <laughs> this steak out of my mouth. Look, we're giving each other kisses. <laughs> now I'll take my daughter, Bindi, and put her in the croc's mouth. He's nice. He's a large one, too. And the crocodiles are just like, I don't even know what the fuck yeah. this is. On the scale of nature, yeah. a guy in khakis, that's not on my chart. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know what to do. Like, when a wildebeest is drinking too long, I jump up and I bite his neck. Yeah. A guy in khakis putting his fucking daughter in my mouth going, look at the child on him. Let's swing him around. Put him in a shopping cart and bring him to Walgreens. Hello, everybody. Hello. Stingray said, get the fuck off me. Yeah. Stingray, Stingray, one Stingray shot. Razor. 
Hey, man. One shot, kid. Whap. One shot, kid. I put the whap on you. That uh, that stingray was from Southie. One shot, kid. <laughs> One, One shot. shot. One shot. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Well, he's the fucking crook guy. I'll, f- I'll fucking stab you right in the heart. How about everybody, you and me included, we all thought stingray's stinging was a myth. Yeah. This guy fucking shot this it out like a goddamn yeah. taser like, out of his ass. Check this out. <laughs> I'm going to tickle its vagina. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Many people confuse the vagina with the mouth because they're so close. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. By the way, as far as last words go, maybe he, the, at least he knew the best last words possible. Yeah, I'm dying. Do you think the guy oh, well. swimming next to him went? I know. Yeah, yeah, probably. Just a lot of people of, are going to go. Of blood. Hey, cloud of blood. Cloud of blood. Fucking <laughs> 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 blah 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 blah. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and anybody out there that's oh, mad, oh, we're, oh, we're making fun of Steve Irwin. I know. Shut up. Yeah, guy, oh. All he did is bugger animals and leave. <laughs> when you go to the zoo, there's a sign that says, no moleste. Don't molest the animals. That he's guy, a big just, deal. No, he's a big deal down there. He just under. fingered yaks his whole life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he just never stopped. Oh, God damn yak fingerer. <laughs> just, Jesus. And then now he made Yacking his daughter off. and his wife were all into it. Leave the animals alone. Vittel's got that great bit like, right now, there's somebody having sex with an animal. Riling them up and fucking them. (laughs) (laughs) I always love... That like is really... (laughs) When you really... And you know this as a comic, Johnny. Like, when you really take Carlin in, like, as a course, like, if you're in college and you really, like, ingest Carlin as, like, I'm learning every... So, like, phrasing becomes so astounding. Yeah. Riling up and fucking him. <laughs> it's just so amazing. God. He, he, I love that joke about, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't fuck an animal, but if I had to fuck an animal, I'd fuck a horse. You know why? Because after, uh, after you're done, you'd have a ride home. <laughs> just fucking piss yes. Who is that? Is that Atel? David Atel. Oh, David Atel. Shit. I love Atel. Fucking Atel. He was awesome. If you're going to go an animal, which one would you go with? Ooh. I'm going to go horse. I'm following the Atel yeah, lead. Yeah, I, I'm going to follow the Atel lead. I go frog. Frog? frog? <laughs> yeah. well, I hope it hops. Well, no, because then you you know, you know fuck its mouth. It doesn't have any teeth. Jesus Christ, wow, Maddie. Wow, he said fuck its mouth. He Maddie, with those frog what? lips. Frog lips. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> You know, in Anchorman, they go, that escalated quickly. Uh, yes. This de-escalated quickly. Ooh. Maddie, what the fuck a frog's mouth? Oh, what's, frog's what's, your, what's your thing on an airplane? What's your routine? Um, you know what? I Actually, I have a, I have a routine. Um, I, I'll, what, before I get on the plane, I take, I, I have a, <laughs> uh, like some Q-tips and, a, and some fucking Neosporin. <laughs> Why is Maddie laughing? I don't know. Because I'm sorry. When he said I have a routine, I just pictured you doing like a fucking <laughs> yeah, soon, <laughs> now. yeah, some kind of dance routine, some, yeah. some, some, some five, six, seven, seven eight. eight, get on the plane <laughs> through the terminal. No, I got uh, I took some Q-tips <laughs> and Neosporin, right? And you take the t- <laughs> Q-tips <laughs> and you put you put a little Neosporin in your nose oh. because because it helps you. It, it like it keeps you from getting sick. Like you know, really, you oh, see I'm doing doing that. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, absolutely, and it works. It really works. And like you know, it, any kind of uh, you know, you breathe through your nose and in, in, you know, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Anything that goes through the the hairs and the you know and stuff in your nose, cilia. It's cilia. Well, cilia. cilia is more than the lungs. Yeah, cilia. Right. C-I-L-I-A. Um, but it catches bad shit going in your nose, and and it's it's awesome. <clears throat> and then like you know, just hand sanitizer. Uh, some lotion just to fucking because it's Do you wear the SARS mask? Huh? Do you wear the SARS mask? Oh, no. That is, um, by the way, everybody, uh, it seems to be nothing racial, but it does seem to be primarily uh, Chinese people that wear the, the yeah, mask yeah, on the yeah, plane. Yeah, yeah. Well, All you're doing is scaring the shit out of everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but a lot nice of immune t- system. They have to wear a yeah, fucking but dentist a lot mask. Of funky shit in China, man. There's a lot of pollution. There's a lot of. I know, uh, but they wear it here. Yeah, they wear it, you know. I don't know, paranoia, you know, whatever. Paranoia, self destruction. I thought I was talking about like, like, how do you kill fifteen hours going to Australia? Oh, you're like uh, a lot of neosporin, dude. No, no, no. Um, no, uh, the um, huh? Hey, man. Mm. Um, no, iPad. Uh, take something to to, to help you crash out. I um, sleep a lot on planes. You know, uh, I try to. Uh, I try to actually. Um, I have a. I have a medical marijuana license, so before I get on the plane, get to the airport, 
might want to take a couple of tokes and something and uh, help you go to sleep. Help Do you relax. read? Do you play Scrabble? I play Scrabble. I watch. Uh, I watch. Um, I watch. If there's movies, I have an iPad. I fucking. I, I'll sit there and play. Games. New York to L.A., L.A. to New York, completely different schedule for me. Yeah. New York to L.A., I get the New York Post. That's an hour, and I read it cover to cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it's such a. Here's the thing: shit anybody ride. in New York and anybody that wants to look up online New York Post, uh, count how many times the word kin, K I N, and slay, S L A Y, here in Gov, G O V, for the governor. Oh, and when it's the mayor, it's his honor, H I Z Z O N E R. And you just, fl- and it's in tot, T O T. T O T. And if you hit the jackpot, there's an article about kin tot slay. <laughs> like somebody like like infanticide oh something happens That's in queens the trifecta like right yeah, there. it's amazing Tatsle? and when it, it sounds like somebody should be wearing a sars mask kin tatsle kin tatsle dj k slay but dj k slay how know. long is the flight to australia oh it's like 15 16 hours i had a medium on the show bill phillips and he's legit he's the real guy he's cool as hell and he sat he gave me ryan sickler a reading in the green room of uh the Irvine improv but as he was reading us People are coming in for the second show, and there's only that little wall separating us from like 400 people. Yeah. So he was getting shit like mixed up because he like dead people it, it, to him like they're all queuing up to be read. So he's, but the one thing he got, he got crazy stuff right, like he knew about my grandfather, capital M. His name was Maurice, and he goes, "That's the person that you were the most close with, and you lost a brother figure, not a brother. It's like a sigh. It was." And, it, that was an upside down M. I'm saying a, his name is Willie. My cousin died in a, by a drunk driver, all that stuff. So he, nailed, he looked at Ryan Sickler and he goes, why is 11-11 so significant to you? And Ryan Sickler was his grandmother's address. And he had just like that week went back to Baltimore and took the 11-11 off the house so he could keep it, like the actual numbers. He wow. took them off the house. And in the middle of the night, he stole the numbers of someone's house. And he was like... Yeah, it blew our minds. But then, like, as people started filing in, he just kept looking at me going, you're going to go to Australia. What is it with you in Australia? You in Australia? You in Australia? And I'm like, bro, I'm not going to fucking Australia. You need, you need to pick a different lane or find another dead person to talk to because I ain't going that's, to Australia. That's funny. Cause but maybe people, he meant this right now. Maybe he did meet this, mean this. But I'm excited. It's, it's a thing called uh, Supernova. So What is that? Um, <clears throat> it's huh? a convention. Huh? It's a convention. Um, you know, comic book, anime, video game. You know, all that. It's, do they pay? They give you a fee? Oh yeah, honorarium. They, yeah, they pay. They pay you, and they they they're flying me down, and they're and they're taking care of me. So it's how long nice. are you gonna be there for? Two weeks. Maybe there for two weeks. You gonna bring the lady out? Um, no, she's hanging. She's staying. She's staying. We were we were we were gonna, but then it was just it wasn't cost effective. It was just like oh, this is we'll just. And just, you know, take a little break from each other. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, how's a break? Are you going to play with stingrays when you're there? I'll put, I'll put my foot in the water. Where's See the- how it goes. But we're going to Gold Coast, then we're going to Melbourne. But in Gold Coast, I know that voice is in the Gold Coast Film Festival, which coincides with the mm. uh, with Supernova, which See, is really this, cool. This is what so, I don't like. John DiMaggio using words like cost-effective. If you guys would get off your asses, go to jmore.com and click the Amazon banner and buy this guy's movie, he could hey, take his girl to Australia with him. There you go. I mean, uh, just, yeah. what, when's the next Liam Neeson movie where he goes and uh, Taken 5 where he just tries to find the stingray that killed the... Uh, oh, God. Oh, I have a very special, a special, special, special skills. skills. You killed my Australian friend wearing khakis. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you see me, I'll be wearing a diver's mask. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll have a big diver's, diver's knife. That was good, Liam. First well, Liam Neeson I've ever heard. Yeah, let me hear it again. Well, wait a minute. No. Hold on. Hold on. Let's I break have, for. I have a. I have a very special set of skills. Yeah, that's all right. That's, yeah. No, that's good, dude. Close. That was him if he was a wizard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You nailed it the first time without thinking. I have a. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna do it. John's like, <laughs> not now. I I'm not, have I'm a not very special out. set of skills. That's, that's skill skill harder. Harder. right there. Uh, Big Mama Got It All is uh, a lady I know, and Rufus Underwood is a guy John DiMaggio knows, and they. Uh, it's very alarming. Uh, what can happen when people come together and have peace talks. Uh, we're going to give a little love to the sponsors right now. And on the other side, Rufus Underwood and Big Mama Got It All are going to sit down with Vladimir Putin. When shopping for car insurance, consider this. GEICO has been saving people money on car insurance for over 75 years. So if you're serious about savings, it's simple. Go to GEICO.com. After 75 years, they know how to save you money. Why are razors so expensive? Maybe it's because those billion-dollar shave companies overload the razors with ridiculous shave technology you don't need. You really need a razor with a vibrating handle, back scratcher, and a laser pointer? I don't. 
and I was sick of paying out the nose for it. That's why I made the switch to dollarshaveclub.com. Dollarshaveclub.com sends amazing quality razors and other cool bathroom stuff right to your door for a couple bucks a month. It really couldn't be any easier. Dollarshaveclub.com doesn't waste their money on ridiculous shave tech gimmicks. That's one of the ways they can charge a fraction of what the big shave companies charge. And you know what? I think dollarshaveclub.com blades are actually better. They are the best razor blades I personally have ever used. Listen. Signing up couldn't be easier. Go to dollarshaveclub.com and pick a razor plan. They have three to choose from. Then every month, like clockwork, you'll get a package in the mail with Dollar Shave Club blades. And they get other great stuff like Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter and One Wipe Charlie's. Ooh, peppermint infused butt wipes for men. Dollarshaveclub.com. Join me, everyone, on the More Stories podcast and hundreds of thousands of guys who've upgraded to the smarter way to shave. Shave time. Shave money. Join dollarshaveclub.com slash M-O-H-R. Dollarshaveclub.com slash more. When you think about the best time to go to the post office, you're probably thinking before work, you know what, I'll go after work. Maybe I'll go at lunch hour. Wrong. That's when it's the most crowded. What's the matter with you? There is no convenient time to go to the post office. That's why you need stamps.com. You need stamps.com. Say the words. I need stamps.com. At stamps.com, access all the services of the post office right from your desk. Buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter or package using your computer, your printer, then just hand it to your mail carrier. So easy, unlike the post office. Stamps.com is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because it's you. You do it. You can get your mailing and shipping done whenever it's convenient for you. I use Stamps.com. I want you to use it, too. Right now, use my last name, Moore, M-O-H-R, for the special offer. No risk trial. $110 bonus offer. That includes a digital scale and up to $55 free postage. Boom. That's a lot of letters, man. Don't wait. Go to Stamps.com before you do anything else. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in more M-O-H-R. Stamps.com. Enter more. Ooh, that flight was long, Rufus. Huh? Hey. I mean, you know. Why can't we fly first class? But, but, hey, you know how much that costs? It huh? costs too much. That costs Cost. too much for your mama. Why is it called? Hey, hey, because, because, hey, you, you, you gonna pay. Huh? You gonna pay. Hey, you huh? gotta, you gotta get on the airline. You gonna fly first class? First class? First class. First class. First class. Oh. First class. But I, I'm in code for 15 hours yeah, to go to Russia and Moscow that, to talk to this that, man. That's, that's a long time. That's, that's a long, long time. time. That's a long time. I'm on so time. all my, my, all everything's all bundled up. Oh, bundled up. I'm guessing. Well, that's, that's bad. How it, you it, feel? It, y'all right? You look hey, good. You know, I got up. I got you up. Look I, 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 I sat, I sat on the aisle. I sat on the aisle. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what I did. How come we got tickets to Capital? Uh, why'd you get to sit in the middle? Because I like the middle. That's crazy. I like it. You do? Forearms rubbing up against other folk. That's, and you say, how are you how, today? That, you make a friend on the well, airline, but none of these people spoke English. They that, spoke um, Russian. They spoke Russian? Yeah. They spoke I guess. Russian. Mm-hmm. I know what that, I said, how are you to the one lady? And, and she looked at me and she said, God, good, good. I know what she said. She said, she, what'd she say? God, 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 I don't know. It was like a baby speaking. Like a baby, but, like a baby, but from the throat. But oh, okay. Like I heard, like a baby. Yeah. If a baby was big enough, that's okay. God, God, that's you ain't nothing right here. Hey, hey. You funny. Hey, big mama, that's crazy. You funny. You now, crazy. is this the house? Yo, we Ooh. had to come over here. We had, to, we had to go house. We had to. Hey, we had to come over here. And talk some sense. Huh? Had to come over here and talk some sense. Now. Talk some sense. That's what I'm saying. The Mr. Putin. And Mr. Putin. Invading yeah, yeah, Ukraine. You know Mr. Putin? Vladimir Putin? I see him on the news. Hey, I see him on the news too. No that's shirt why we're on. Here. He's fine. But that's crazy. Riding horses with no shirt he, on. He always, judo man. chop. Judo chop. Yeah, judo, he, judo chop. He did a nice job in the Olympic. He did do a nice yeah. job. Yeah. What what he come in? He came in first place. First place? Yeah. First place? And running the country. And running the country? Yeah. Hey, man, he crazy. I'm pulling your leg. Well, the whole thing, I know you are. I know you are. You always pull my leg, big mama. Who does? What you need? Huh? What you Ooh, how, Oh, my God. Hello, you guys. Uh, are you here for a reason? I'm here to see you, Mr. Putin. Come on. And I didn't recognize you in no hey, shirt on. Hey, man. How you doing? Do I need to get security? I don't understand. Oh, don't flex now. Hey, who are the, hey who easy. Are you? Don't who, flex. Who easy, are, Vladimir. Straight up. Big don't V. Fle- don't be flexing now. Big who, V flexing. Big V, don't flex. I'm Big Mama Got Long Rufus Underwood. Who now. are you people? I'm Big Mama Got Long. Who God are God. you people? Oh, first of all, there ain't no children in here. That, Rufus that, Tumblr lower his hey, hey, hold on one second. I don't care what you president of. You mm. don't talk to Big Mama or myself like that. Now, my name is Rufus Underwood. Rufus Underwood. And Big Mama right here. Big Mama got it all. Big Mama got it all. Now, what we're, we're trying to Russia. do. We're in Russia. We're in Russia. To see you. We came over here. Huh? Hey, Das Vadanya, baby. Huh? That's what I said. I learned some Russian. You did? I learned some Russian on the way Say over. Say it again. I said, Das Vadanya. That's what the baby next to me said. Is the old grown lady said? baby. That's what she said. Yeah. She said, Das Vadanya. Uh, yeah, man. 
That's all right. Where you going? Is, is come it, back here. We're not there. Hey, Vladimir. Is there, reason, is there a reason I'm standing here for you guys? I, I come out. They, my assistant told me uh, there are people at my front door. Assistant? Oh, he had an assistant? Mm -hmm. That's all right. We should get an assistant. Hey, man. Everybody needs an assistant. Hey, Vladimir, man. What's your problem with the Ukraine, man? Why you got to be front on them people? The problem is, is uh, they don't want to be uh, friends with the country of mine, uh, you they and Russia. They want to be more close to Europe. That's they, all. They just, they just they want, want to be friends. With the, hey, listen. Let me tell you something. Huh? When a friend when a friend say, hey, man, I won't be friends with you no more, that's okay. You just step away. Huh? You oh, just, that's right. You, uh, my husband is no, right. No, this is not true. Rufus, no, is your all, name don't. Rufus? Huh? Rufus? Yeah. That's your name? What? Rufus. Huh? Your name. And Rufus your name Underwood. Is, you don't know your name? Huh? And your, your name is all... All mamas, all mama oh, got uh -uh. it all. Uh uh. No, hey, you got now, to you open up a can of wine. Time out now. You hey, got all mama. Hey, hey, back hey up. the Black Sea's right around the corner. I'll hold you on the, the bubble come on now. Come on. The, oh, the big. I, I'm big. I don't I, know what the bubble means. Look, look at me. I don't understand what huh? you mean. I don't understand what huh? you're talking about. Read my lips. Huh? Big mama got it all. Big mama got it all, man. I got four right. sons named Chad. We, we got your last name right, Putin. That's what Putin. I said. Hey, man, it sound like he going to the bathroom every time. I know he sound like he digging the bathroom. Put Wait, going to Putin. Putin. Hey, hey, hey where Vladimir at? You he think he's Vladimir funny? Putin? He fought it. Hey, he fought it, man. He fought it. But that's the kind of fought when you sitting on the toilet and you hear it. It goes, that's the of Putin. Your name you fought? Your name is Vladimir Putin. Does your name mean? Does your name mean funny? You think hey, it's funny? Yeah, I think it's you funny. think yeah, my name funny? Yeah, I, think I think it's funny. Hey, I think it's hey, funny you, when you riding on the donkey. <laughs> you, know that, you, know you know what's funny, Rufus? What's funny, huh? It's not donkey, it's horse. Oh, oh. Fifty thousand dollar horse, why, why? worth more than your house. Why? It's worth more than why? your house, why? Mr. Why? Rufus. Why? You don't know where I live, huh? Huh? Hey, man, I'm a retired teacher. I'm a retired teacher. What yeah. did, what, I got a teacher pension. What did I you teach? I got a nice house. You don't know, man. You what you teach? Huh? He what you teach? Science. I taught science for many years. Stupid American. Stupid oh, American. Stupid hey, American. Hey, 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 that's it. I love JT. I, I, they, uh, Justin Timberlake go to go, Justin Timberlake go sing in in, in Crimea. It, it, everything it turned out all He's right. True. You should have. You should have him. I, Come uh, on. Actually, I like it, Justin Timberlake. See, that's nice when we all See, meet that, because of the that, music. Hey, yes. hey, you mentioned Justin Timberlake when you trying to uh -huh. have some kind uh -huh. of peace treaty. Say what now? Hey man, da 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 da. I'm loving it. That's my man right there. Did you know that? That's oh, McDonald's. That's though. McDonald's. Yeah, it's that's not, Justin Timberlake. Ju Justin he wrote that. He wrote that. And no, it's not true. Oh man, and Jingles. That's, that's he did it. He did why, it. Why he like the he like the new Barry Manilow. Oh no, no, don't say that. I did. Nobody gonna hey, replace Barry Manilow. You like Barry Manilow? I uh, huh? these not. Hey the, man, come on now, Barry, Barry Manilow. Let the man speak. I write the songs. I write the songs. Ask me question and then he cut me off. I don't understand. No man, come on, Vladimir. I'm sorry. That's my fault, man. Why are you in Ukraine? The problem about Ukraine is that uh, I heard Justin Timberlake is uh, performing in Ukraine. That's not true. That's not I have been now. asked. This is this is no, the, don't this flip is the script now. this is how it don't starts. Don't flip the script. This well, is how hey, it starts. Come to New York. Huh? Yeah. Come to New York. Come to L.A. Huh? Come to hey, he can come Detroit. Detroit. You like Detroit? Huh? Yeah, you come nice. to Detroit. Come Rust Belt. Huh? You know they why? Call I the Rust Belt. Hey, that, that that is a Rust Belt. You come on over to the Rust Belt. You feel just at home. Huh? Why are you in Crimea? The reason I'm in Crimea is the... Uh, the you going to cry me a river? Ah, I did it again. I love it. I put it up on him again. I he won't get to it again. To God. Uh, what, hey, man, come on. Answer the question. Security. I'm sorry. Uh, what? No, no man. Don't, hey, security. Hey, you don't want to do that. I got uh, a raise in my bag. Now hey, you don't flex. Yeah, hey, don't flex. She my husband knew karate. Hey, she'll you not cut pat you. down these people when they came in the room? Oh, you ain't going to pat me down, baby. You're going to find prescriptions and a whole lot of titty. You're going to pat me down. Hey, a whole lot of titty. That's right. Mm. Listen, you guys keep talking mm. like this. Hey, big mama got a whole lot of titty. I kick you out of home right now. We need you to leave Crimea, and we need hey, man, you to on, be man. more peaceful. Come on, man. I'll tell you what. You get, I, I, and I'm not kid. You get Justin, the, uh, the, the Timber River. You get him to come to my country. You get, we got to get Justin Timberlake. We're going to get NSYNC to reunite. You get him to come to my oh, country. Let the man speak, Rufus. I, like, I think we're making progress. Progress. You, you get him to come to my country. We ride horse together without shirt. We bring sexy back. And I consider leaving Ukraine. Well, how do we get that consider to a definite? Instead of I'll consider leaving. Now listen to me now. I, I like I I'm like the way she talks. Yes, Instead of I'm gonna consider leaving a Crimea and Ukraine. 
if we could just change that to you bring me JT, because we'll flat. We got JT on the speed okay, dial now. I, okay, guaranteed. My son does his car. Guaranteed, I leave. You bring yeah. you bring Justin Timber Rivers, and you also bring Oprah. Done. Oprah. Hey, I did Oprah. We Done deal. Oprah. Uh, hey, I Oprah. love hey. Oprah. Ru hey, okay. Oprah's a pretty woman. Yeah, Ru uh, you ain't lying. She's my, hey. she's my kind of I, I, I catch Rufus on the hey. bathroom, hey. and in too long. I think he's going Putin for hey. real. Hey, and man. I'm like, I go in now there. Now you make fun of name again. No, I'm now not. Now you make fun hey, of hey, name again. Hey, man, Vladimir Putin getting married with Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. She'd be Oprah Putin. Oprah Putin. <laughs> Oprah Putin. I think that's nice. That's all right. That's all right. Oprah Putin. I like it. Oprah Putin. Oprah, I catch Rufus in the bathroom. And he in there a long time. I said, nobody go to the bathroom that long. He's reading, you know what he's doing, Mr. Putin? What he doing, he's my bathroom? He's reading Oprah magazine with That's his right. pants down hey, and he's man. exposed. Hey, man. I, do, I read that old magazine. himself to pumpkin spice recipe. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm, I'm on the toilet for 45 minutes trying to figure out some banana bread. Yeah, I think y'all uh, hey, take man. matters into your own hand, hey, if I'm going to say so myself. Hey, that's cold-blooded. So, all we got to do. Hey, man. Hey, Vladimir, why you got to play me like that in front Just, of you, man? Oh, that's cold-blooded. We cold made progress. This peace talks we now. We did make progress. We're going to bring Justin Timberlake and Oprah over here. Everything going to be all right. All right. Hey. And then you're going to leave Crimea? I consider it. Oh, yes. Could we have a request? What's the request? You got any more of that vodka? I do not, actually. Uh, that's, uh, it's all gone. Well, you better find some vodka. We want to for it 15 hours. Oh, never mind, never mind. I found, I found, I found the vodka. vodka. I found oh, the vodka. Here we yeah. are now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here you go, Rufus. Yeah, Let me make okay. you I would nice like, I would like drink. that. Thank Get you, you a drink. Much. Hey. 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 All right. With this fish egg, I'm going to have some fish egg, too. Fish egg. Fish you egg. Like that's fish all right. Egg. You like caviar? Hey, we like caviar. That's what this is. Caviar. Caviar. We eat fish eggs. Ooh. Well, I don't have no caviar. Ooh, fish Look egg. Look at the baby coming up to walk. Everybody's you happy. Brought, you brought a child to my home. Everybody's having a good hey, time. Hey. No, 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 no. Hold yeah, on. Come on. Right there. Come on. You have now made a uh, step back in our progress here. There's no children allowed in the uh, in the Kremlin. Well, well, we'll keep them outside. We got vodka. Well, you all know, baby, not no vodka. And and fish egg. And there's no, there's no leash let's on re child. Let's recap. Do Let's just recap. Go ahead. Can we Justin recap? Timber River, Timber Lake, Cry You a River, yes. and Oprah. They'll yes. be here in about a matter of hours, and you're going to leave Crimea, and we're going to have some peace. And some vodka. But you need to get kid out of here. Kid's not he even. Gone. The kid is not on a leash. That's Brad Williams. It's, that ain't no kid. It's, mu it's municipal court. That's a grown ass man named Brad Williams. That's a funny comedian. We brought him in to make this you not, laugh now. This is not a child. No. That's a young, that's a young man. That's, so you, that's a little, little man right He's going to dance Gangnam so Style I, I, for your ass. He's going to make right. you laugh. He's funny. I can make him drink also then. Oh, yeah. Okay. He likes to drink. Come on in here, baby boy. Yeah. Oh, hello there. All right. This is my man right here, Brad Williams. going to make you laugh. How you doing, Brad Williams? Say hello. Hello. All right. What happened to Brad's voice? Hey, that's crazy. Sounds How like, long was that flight? Hey, man, that little... That, that, Sounds that, like that, child to me. I don't understand. All right, man. Well, so that's good. Oprah and Justin Timberlake, and you leave Crimea. We have your word on it. You have my word, yes. Oh, let's hey, all Oprah shake. Got, hey, shake. Shake okay. it up. Shake, up, shake, shake big mom's hand now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you have any judo mats? Judo mats? Judo mats. Judo. Mats you put down to practice the, the art put, put the of mat judo. Down judo. Judo this, mat. This problem with American. You need mat to practice I wrestling. I you to lay me down, Putin. Don't let me. Come on. I already told you. Oprah is my back, baby. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't fuck the lead singer unless you fuck the roadie now. You hey! gonna throw Big Mama got it on some dick. Hey, that's it. You throw me some dick, goddammit. Rufus don't mind. We've been swinging for years. Hey, that's days. all right. We've been doing this, dude. Yeah. You better give us some of that Rufus, Russian, you don't Russian you swag. Throw. Okay, okay. I, 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 I throw you. Know you know what? Let me I, freshen I, up a little bit. I throw, you, I throw you dick if, if, if you really want fresca? me. Kind of I don't know what fresco is. It's like a, a sparkling water. It, it, it's kind of like a grapefruit. Grapefruit I put soda. Well. Grapefruit soda. Put it on the well. Me up. Yeah. yeah. You, make you, it, make you it summer. You should use make summer it eve. <laughs> use summer eve. Cut and nail. Clean. Uh, you you do you douche yourself. I will. Can I come in the house? If you Rufus, do. why don't you go get us some more uh, groceries? I'm gonna go find some fresco. Yeah. All yeah. right. And come back in about four or five days. Uh huh. All right, Mr. Putin. Let's go. Each monthly Bark Box contains four to six full-size products, including everything from innovative toys and gadgets, leashes, treats, more. All treats are sourced from the USA and Canada, and chews are sourced from the USA, Canada, South America, Australia, and New Zealand. Bark Box edible products do not include rawhide or anything processed with formaldehyde. Yeesh. Minimal processing. No glycerin whenever possible. Wheat, gluten, soy, corn. Filler-free whenever possible. Organic whenever possible. Get the best for your pet. 
Bark Box, in terms of toys, grooming products, hygiene products. I have a Yorkie. Her breath stinks. I got to brush her teeth all the time with, with weird stuff. Not anymore. I got Bark Box. They're always trying to source from American vendors. Everything included in each box is high quality and safe and tested by their own dogs. Bark Box offers three monthly plans, each tailored to your dog's size to ensure appropriate treats and toys are delivered. You don't want like a teacup Maltese and you get them like a 10 pound bone. It's going to kill them. Don't kill your dog. Let him live with BarkBox. BarkBox is committed to the cause of homeless dogs. As a rule, they've given 10% of the revenue to local rescues and shelters across the United States and Canada. In 2013, BarkBox donated over 150000 to pups in need through a number of innovative social good campaigns. Help BarkBox give $1 million in 2014. Save 20% on your new subscription by visiting BarkBox.com slash more, M-O-H-R, BarkBox.com slash M-O-H-R. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, I just want to say thank you for making my Geico Insurance ID card digital. It's easy to find on the app. It doesn't give me paper cuts, and I always have it on hand because it's on my phone. Because of this, I finally cleaned out my glove box, which was filled with years of paper ID cards. Any thought on what I should put in my glove box now? Sincerely, Trent Patterson. Hmm, Trent, what can you put in the glove box? Here's a crazy thought. How about gloves? Digital insurance ID cards, just a tap away on the Geico app. Did you see what just happened on CNN? I just went to take a leak on CNN. And what? What? Putin pulled out of Crimea. Justin Timberlake's doing a concert in Moscow, peace concert. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Bizarre. Dude, how did that happen? What did... You, oh, Justin Timberlake? Yeah, and Oprah. That's... And Oprah? Yeah. She brought Stedman. Wow. There's yeah, a, and it put a snake on the stairs. Yeah, the put baby. a snake on the stairs. The baby said he put a snake on the stairs. It's awesome. Well, makes sense. Yeah. John DiMaggio, the movie is I Know That Voice. I Know That Voice. Uh, I Know That Voice. Com. Whose kid is this? Um, I don't know. That's crazy. What? Get out of there banged up. Get out of there banged up? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Finish the move. I know that voice is I the know DVD. That voice. Yes, uh, buy it because Johnny put it. his own money into it, and that yeah. takes balls. Yeah, it does. Uh, and you, idiocy. You go, yeah, go through Amazon on J site, or you know, if you can't remember, go through Amazon and go through J site, and go through I know that voice dot com, and yeah, check us out. And get, um, as long as you get it, I don't care how you get it. Just yeah. go someplace That's, where you can buy I know that it's, voice. It's all good. It's uh, I'm, it's doing well, which is cool. So you know, I, I'm I'm really excited and. Yeah, totally. You want to go to Johnny's house? Whose house? house. You want to go to Auntie's house? Oh, Auntie's house. Sweet boy. Auntie's house. Do you want kids? You know, um, if they have... By the way, the listener should know the child walked in. Yes. <laughs> at the, at when we were done. Right. Yeah. I don't think we were throwing all those F-bombs around yeah, with the yeah. baby and all that. <laughs> huh? Say, oh, okay. Hey, that's right. Say, oh, say, oh okay. I'm okay. Yeah, okay. it's close. Okay. Baby got it all. That's it. <laughs> Big baby got it all. Little baby got it all. Little baby got it all. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Australia, fifteen hour flight. Uh, You'll have yeah. your edibles. Now um, does the TSA <laughs> are they gonna are you on like a watch list now? Because no, some guy at TSA listens to this podcast. Yeah, He's gonna yeah, see you staggering that's, at him yeah, no, that's with no, red that's, eyes. No, it's all good. It's I, uh, legal, baby. It's uh, legal. Yeah. Holding a slam dunk magazine. Slam dunk magazine. <laughs> a little easy reading. Uh, no, Do they still make still that? Huh? No. Well, no. Magazine. Who? Uh-huh. There was like a whole bunch of. Uh, there was like good, like basketball magazines that were like the most fun to read, like in the late nineties. Yeah, those are gone. They dude. were great. They're gone. You don't remember those? Yeah, I think I do. Actually. I don't think it was called Slam Dunk. I think it might have been. No, it might have been. I'll look it up. Um, no, I'm actually uh, going to be um, at. Um, I'm going gonna, gonna to throw this out there. Uh, Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle, which is a pretty big deal. There's, When's that? That's at the end of March. Uh, the uh, March, uh, what, 29th, 30th, and 31st. I'll be there on the 20, on, on the 30th. I'll be there. 30th of March. 30th John of March. DiMaggio Saturday is going in Seattle, to be um, in Seattle. Thrilling Adventure Hour. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, going to the first two weeks of April, going to be down under, which is going to be great. Have you ever been to Australia before? Yes, I have. Really? They're, it's really great. Yeah, I've been to. Uh, I've been. I've been there twice, um, and the people down there are just awesome. And it's just. It's really great, and uh, and it's a good time. What's your favorite thing about Australia? Um, stingrays. Stingrays. Um, I think. Crying. Just it's just. It's just prog- it's progressive. It's just like it's progressive. It feels like I think what the U.S. felt like in the seventies, like the good parts about like you know. 
you know, it, 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 there's not like a lot of crap in their food. Like they don't allow processed food and stuff, and and things are fresh, and people are just cool, and it's just it's it's awesome. I don't know. John DiMaggio loves Australia. So if you're Australian and you're listening to this, and the Kiwis are great too. New Zealanders are awesome too. I've been down there too for, for really. Convention. Yeah, it's awesome. It's it just. If you want to see me do stand-up, go to jmore.com for all my dates. I have a lot of East Coast dates, and if I read them all off, it'll take forever. But New Jersey, I know Bananas and Hasbrook Heights, and uh, Borgata, right? Foxwoods, Borgata, yeah, that'll sell out. That's great. Uh, Ridgefield Playhouse in Connecticut, you can help me out. And uh, the, the Long Island one, I've, just everybody just go to my uh, website, jmore.com, get these dates. Check and, me out on oh, Twitter. Oh, Denver at, Comedy at, Works. You know what? Denver, great town. I was just there doing a convention. Best comedy town in the country. You know, it's, it's like the fun thing is for me going to conventions is like it, it's not, you know, I used to go to comedy clubs. And I just don't have an act anymore. I don't really, I'm not sure I really want to do it. But like, you know, being able to go out and hang, you know, and, and sit in front of a crowd and, and riff on a microphone and, you know, Q&A and shit. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun for me. So... But Denver's great. Denver's a f- fun time. I've never mentioned Denver Comedy Works so far, and I got it coming up. Denver Comedy Works got coming up with Jay Moore. In April, I got about 30 tickets sold each show. <laughs> They're oh. like, could you do some press? I'm like, we're a couple months out. Yeah, Take yeah, it easy. Yeah. And I re- look at my clock, and uh, I realize my clock on my phone. I go, yes. actually, I'm one month out. Yeah. I'll do some press. Yes, I'll do some press. Uh, Comedy Works is great. Wendy's great up there that runs it. And uh, Jeff, my dear friend that runs that room. Everybody, this is more stories. And John DiMaggio... One of the funniest human beings in the world. And the fact I that love I love you so much. And for some reason, no bad blood, nothing. Johnny and I were one of those like dear friends that we didn't speak. It was almost a decade. Yeah. And when you came on this podcast, I'll never forget. It was a Monday night. It was about eight months ago. Yep. And it was as if you had walked out of my apartment in Manhattan. Somebody just <laughs> yeah. beamed us here. Yeah. And I tell everybody, if you want to know what it's like when me and Johnny were just getting high and drunk and playing Madden until five in the yeah. morning. Madden and, uh, and, 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 and NHL. NHL. Those are the here comes Sergey coming down Sergey Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Sergey Fedorov was the oh shit, my God, dude. dude. We had songs oh, for each player. Oh, God, we did. And then we saw it on Swingers and we're like, that yeah, fucking. I, mean, I we, know. We could have written a fun. movie. We could have put that. Here comes Sergey. <laughs> yeah. Neil Brennan used to sing that. Here oh. comes Sergey coming down <laughs> Sergey Lane. I couldn't fucking stop him. <laughs> and on the NBA game, if you were the Cavaliers at home, Mark Price, you could shoot from half court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking Mark oh, Price. God. <laughs> Skippy from Family Ties? No, the other Mark oh, Price. Oh, Skippy from. Oh, was he Mark Price? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's nice. He is totally nice. I opened for him when I was a kid. When I was like eighteen. He's a love your guts. I love your guts. I love your guts, man. No he will, will here. A we nice keep guy. It, he was totally nice. cool. He's welcome to come on this podcast anytime. I don't really know how to get a hold of him. No. So if anybody wants to get a hold of uh, Mr. Price. Hit him up is on Twitter. Still, is he still doing stand up? I mean, is he still. I have no idea, but I would love to talk to him because yeah. when I was very young, he took me out on the road and he had like a limo, like he was a big shot. And he's like, you know, don't rent a car and drive from Ithaca to Binghamton, literally, and then upstate to Buffalo. He goes, just come with me in the limo. And we just like relaxed and we listened to the doors. And I remember it was raining going through upstate New York and it's so beautiful. Yeah. And Riders on the Storm came on and he goes, This is us, man. I go, What? He goes, Riders on the Storm. <laughs> And like, it sounds kind of dumb, but no, when you're but 18 when you're young, and high, you're, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're baked you're in the Adirondack. Like, you're like, oh, we yeah, are, we are the riders on the storm, yeah, girl. You totally gotta sure. love your man. You know what? That's one thing that I actually uh, don't regret about um, my stand-up comedy career, in that I had a, I had somebody with me to experience the road, you know, and and to be like, oh, this is. This is happening, and you're witness to it with, as, as well as as well as myself. You know that's that's. You definitely. don't miss that. Or no, you... I, I do. I mean, I do. I do miss that. Like, I think that that's one of the redeeming qualities about my stand-up experience. I love. Uh, first of all, your stand-up was amazing. You guys, Red Johnny and the Round Guy. Yes. It's. I don't know if there's st- there is stuff on YouTube. It used to be up on. We had a Tumblr page when it was up and running. You got nobody could follow you guys. It was amazing. We did well. We it did was well. Quite an ascent. And I remember telling you, all you have to do. To be the greatest comedy team in the history it's of mankind. Stay together. It's just stay together like yeah. Al Green. Yeah, no. It disintegrates. Couldn't do it. It's, tar- it's very hard to go to work and your happiness depends on how somebody else feels. Yeah. Stand up comedy, you hit the right stage ahead. and it's just you. Yeah. And if it's just me and I look over and some guy's looking at me because I'm not putting anything on Tim or you or I'm not, I'm just saying in, in the, in yeah. the, in what we're talking about. If like I say something, I think it's hilarious and I look over at the guy next to me and he's giving me a face like you missed this certain cue or this thing. Yep. I couldn't do it. 
No. Well, I, uh, like I said, it was like there were times when it, there were times when it would, you know, in the huddle, so to speak, would be like, okay, all we need are five yards. We need five yards to first down. And, you know, Tim would hand me the ball, and i go 26 yards. And i come back to the huddle and be like, dude, all we needed was five. You know, it's just like, that just, no. It's a bad, it's hard. It's just really difficult. But it doesn't matter, because right now, you're going to Australia, you're going to Seattle. Yeah, I'm doing my thing, man. More important than anything. Ago. I've never seen you happier. I've never seen you healthier. I, yeah, and things are good, man. I can't complain. It's, when I met it's, Johnny, he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh no! Coughing nonstop in a wheelchair, but he steered it what with his from? feet. No, it was fake. It was like <laughs> what from? What from? He, he was, wasn't in the wheelchair. Were you, were you were you born that way? Oh, this ain't Gaga. Um, no, it's uh, it, it's yeah. It's, I like the people in the wheelchairs that steer it with their feet. When those fucking assholes are yeah, easy. You know what? They probably didn't get like bipolar meds that they needed. No, nobody graduates high school and says, when I grow up, I'm going to be in Venice and be in a wheelchair, steer it with my feet with an American flag taped to the back. I oh. hate those fucking people. How about you hate the feet? situation? Yeah, hate, hate, have hate, compassion hate, for hate the individual. the politics Maddie. that put those people out on the street. Yeah. That's what you hate. <laughs> oh. Fuck, all three of us were fucking one That's medication right. away That's from being right, one of those man. people. Dude, so dude, dial it back a little. It, That's at it. the real Look, Hey Maddie. Hey, hold on. Hold on. We put that right on you, Fuck brother. that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is my stance on that. Okay. I think uh -oh. those fucking people are lazy, and I hate those people. I think those people are sick. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't like... I just don't like when they... I just don't oh like when... Whoa. I'm just fucking around, dude. I know. I just don't like when they push around. Uh, I'm going to re-edit this so it ends oh, yeah. right when he says that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just look. I don't like when they push themselves backwards and they just don't... They don't know where they're going. I've gotten hit by well, many... They don't know where they're going anyway, whether they're sitting in a chair or college, not. They're college. College. They're going to college. Yeah, they are going to college. Are they going to college? Oh. Uh... Here's the thing. I always, when I see those people, I wonder, like, like people that are bipolar and don't get like and it was the name of a woman. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, Something's yeah. askew. Yeah. I'm not saying women shouldn't work. I mean, I'm glad they vote. Hey, no, oh, sugar foot. I'm <laughs> glad they vote. <laughs> uh, go to jmore.com, click the Amazon banner. You know what you do if you have an Amazon uh, up here on your toolbar? You can just exchange that with jmore.com and click Tool Amazon bar. from my website. And I'll read what you bought, like my friend Rick Marsh. Look at this guy. JJ, been giving your Amazon banner a workout the past few months. My fiance lost all her stuff in an apartment fire. Oh, oh Rick. Oh, that sucks. Um, we've been slowly replacing everything at jmore.com, clicking the Amazon banner. Purchases include, but not limited to, about $300 worth of women's clothing. Everything from dress pants to shoes. What did she get? Because <laughs> <laughs> that guy's married his as we move back into our own place again, I'll be using it for a lot of bigger things to fill our home up. Thanks for the free entertainment uh, from the radio show and the podcast. I appreciate the last brother, Rick. Rick Marsh, I appreciate you, brother. Now you got, you know what you fill that house up with? You go to Amazon.com through jmore.com and you buy I Know That Voice. Yeah. John DiMaggio. Bingo, and John bam. fronted this whole thing himself. We're not going to get the finances, but I remember the TV show action. I remember I beat up a writer. On the TV show in the script saying, you don't use your own money. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I got and high you, off my own supply. It you was, actually uh, put all yeah, your money yeah, where your mouth is. You put your and, name um, on it. I put my, put your name on it. Be um, a man. Be a man. Put your name on it. I feel like we need to reset a few inside jokes. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Flames. Come, which has it devolved into like, come on, podcast. Every, everything, yeah, come on, everything. Johnny and I were real high. We were at a, mm, we were at a, on, a Flames uh, Rangers game. What, man? We what, Mumbly? Hold on. Mumbles from the Dick Tracy movie said something. Hi, Mumbles. <laughs> Hi, guys. What did you just say? <laughs> you said, come on, everything. I just went, mm, come on, everything. <laughs> <laughs> we missed it. I smell Clorox. Oh, my God. What jizz is that? harder. Jizz, jizz harder. Let it flow. Let, gotta let the jizz, jizz flow. flow. John DiMaggio and so me. So we're, we're, at, we're at Madison Square Garden. Flames, Rangers. Uh, Mark Messier scored his 500th uh, goal that night. But they it was were a blowing day them time. Out. It was a they were well, yeah they were blowing them out. We were day yes. drunk and day high. It, it, they were blowing them out, and it was it was <laughs> empty. It was it was it was, a, it was we don't know it, why it was against the Flames. You know they were beating them like five one, and there you know the, the puck stopped, and it's all of a sudden it's unusually quiet in the <laughs> garden, and we were we were like midway like behind like the net on one end, and I just stood up and went. 
come on, flames! And the whole garden, like, burst in laughter. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was so ridiculous. <laughs> Skate harder! Skate harder! Um, but, um, yeah, so that's where that came from. So anytime you hear us, and on Jay Moore Sports on the radio show, like, everything just goes like, tweet harder! Yeah. You're at the dentist, and it's like, clean harder! Come on, Dan Beyer! It all comes, five and five harder! Yeah, it exactly. all comes come from on, that. Come on, five and five! So it all, just so you guys know, it all comes from that. Yeah. Um, before, so this guy is filling up his house with stuff. You ever had a fire happen to you ever? No, I never have. And I, would ne- I haven't I, either. I, yeah, I don't really believe in superstitions, but we're all yeah, knocking yeah, on wood yeah. here. Or at least some, or maybe least someone's at the are. door. Well, anyway. I'm not. That's cold blooded, man. No, I just don't believe in knocking on wood. Never? No. Never. Okay. What about thunder? <laughs> lightning? <laughs> Everything in this frightening. Yes. You better knock. Oh, I would. would. In that, in that case, baby. Yeah. Um, n- yeah, but I, I remember when I was a kid, the, the the house down the street got struck by lightning and there was a fire. Struck by lightning, fucking idiots! Lightning fire. <laughs> well, hold on, That's Maddie. Messed up, How are they idiots? Yeah. Idiots. I joke. love that. Dumbass. Fucking antennas. Dumbass. They brought it on themselves, dude. Dylan. Their antenna was higher than the other antennas. Yeah, stupid. Still in their house in that fucking spot. That's you know, stupid. Shouldn't I was on a plane that got struck by lightning what? three times. Three but times. That thing should have went down, bro. Seven, Where? seven, seven. Over the Potomac, uh, going into DC. I was on a seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Ba- bang! And the whole plane just go like luggage is coming out. The mask, the oxygen mask drop, and it was Fuck. like it was like driving over an IED. It, like it was nuts. And the pilot comes on quickly and goes, "We've been struck by lightning. This is a seven, 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 and it's an enormous aircraft. It's uh, able to withstand in this pilot voice, you know." Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or woman. Put your name on it. Well, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. If you wanna battle with either that you will like that woman. You know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Hey, man. stories john dimaggio at the john dimaggio come on flames come on flames hi kids <clears throat> you are hi uh, warriors hi warriors if you want more of your t-shirts uh go to jmore.com and if you want to see where i'm doing stand-up comedy look i'm on the east coast I'll, right now when you're listening to this i'm in new york long island connecticut atlantic city new jersey bananas Yo, he, he's up in the tri-state baby can you dig it i can dig it that's all right come see me do comedy that's why we do the podcast you guys can come uh see live stand-up comedy and if you want a more stories t-shirt go to jmore.com or if you want to hit the amazon banner at jmore.com johnny dimaggio you can buy john dimaggio's movie called i know that voice because johnny yes. is an incredible voiceover actor thank you and uh, one and, of the most. I did, I did a movie. I did a movie about uh, voice acting and about the voice actors and the people in it and the whole kind of you know uh, kind of basically a backstage pass to the business and um, it's been doing really well. You can catch it out. Uh, you can catch it on iTunes. Uh, go to our website. I know that voice. But preferably, they want to go to Amazon through the jmore.com Yeah, website. they do. They Click do want to go Amazon through that. Banner. They do <laughs> want to go through that. <laughs> they do want to go through that. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. That's actually the way to go. Yeah. If you're a warrior, gotta dance, gotta sing, gotta a- zoom, gotta zing, zing zoom. It is available on hard copy through. Uh, Amazon. Um, actually, we're putting it just digital we're putting right out, now. No, we're putting out a, a DVD. I just, I actually just signed a, a, a thing with a company that we're gonna have it on Amazon, like a DVD with bonus Wait, features. So it's not on Amazon yet. Um, no, you can order it. You can order it digitally through through Amazon. All right. So if you so, go to jmore.com, click the Amazon banner, and buy, I know that voice because what I loved about the movie is any look. When I listen to the radio, I'm always like, "What does this guy look like?" And then you meet them at a Laker game. It's like, "Hey, I'm uh, yeah. I'm Dave O'Brien from the afternoon." You're like, "Whoa, yeah." yeah. You don't. I didn't yeah. know you were a midget. And that's the whole thing. You know, you put a face to the voice, and it's kind of like, "Oh, oh, oh, wow, that's really a, that that's really some serious character acting." With yeah, this you see doing. how talented these people are. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing about voiceovers, Johnny, that bothers me, and it seems to be 
that anytime there's a child that's a boy or a teenage boy, it's, it's always a 40 year old woman yeah. that lives in the valley. It's a little... like, hi, I'm Caillou, yeah. but my name is Pam and I live on <laughs> Susquehanna in the San Fernando Valley. It's like, why, why don't you just get the little boys you know play what? little boys? Because, well, because sometimes little, the little boys uh, um, don't don't meet the standards of the of the Act of harder. the production. Yeah. Act mm. harder. Um, that's. I mean, <laughs> should we reset why we? Did and plus, it? and plus, if you get a woman that can do a kid's voice, she can also do a woman's voice. She can also do a bunch of stuff. There's, you there's a, and you don't have to worry about the labor laws. Yes, exactly. And that's uh, another reason. I mean, you know, the, what, what's the WC Field? Uh, WC never field? act with never, kids. Kids and a animals. hot chick or a dog. A hot chick. Yeah. Or, Is it or a hot chick? A really? woman. Never act with a. I think it was a buxom lady, a kid, or a dog. Wow. Because no one's looking at you. Wow. Buxom. 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 That's a WC field. That's a gr- that's a and then he drank gr- a bottle that of word th- right there is an awesome Scrabble word. Sorry. Then he, then he fell asleep and farted. Uh, yeah. WC field. I don't think he really got <sighs> after it. Life wise. Oh. Here's, the, here's the thing. It was a sad day in my life. As a child, <laughs> we, had, we had an over under how long you would make a fart sound. Wait, what did I you said say? two minutes oh, and yeah. you said six and I you came in at three. I came so in I at won. three. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. I did it. A sad day in my Daddy childhood. Daddy does fart sounds. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I was like 11 or 12 years old. And I was watching Woody Woodpecker one day. And it's like the voice of Woody Woodpecker. Able to withstand lightning strikes. It's nothing to be worried about. We're fine. And, one, and as he's talking, it gets hit again. And the fucking guy never comes back on the mic. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you got to come back, check in with me, because the first time you're like, everything's fine, dude. And we were, fi- you know, we were you freaked we- out. I was pretty bad. I was, okay, I'll tell you exactly when it was. It was when Eric Clapton's uh, blues album came out. Like, if I mistreat you, yeah, yeah, child, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I just had that on my headphones, and I was just bugging out, like loving life, just sitting in first class, enjoying my life, and, you know, yeah, pie eyed, yeah, 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 and just listening to Eric Clapton bang out the blues, bang out the blues, bang out the blues. And I was like, wow, that's crazy ass turbulence. But what made it crazy, it wasn't just regular turbulence. The first time I've ever been on a plane, only time in my life I've been on a plane, we were actually fishtailing, like when you're on a, in oh, a yeah. car like that. Oh, yeah, that freaks you out, yeah. And I'm looking out my window, and we're about 400 yards above the Potomac. Like, we're coming in above the Potomac. We're coming in to land, and it ain't right. Yeah. And I go, wow, this is getting a little nutty. And I look behind me, and I've told a long version of the story on the Pete Holmes show, but I want you to do most of the talking today. Uh, Pete Holmes podcast, rather. Yeah, yeah. And I look behind me, and the entire plane is holding hands. <laughs> and I go, well, I must have missed something. And like the Hasidic Jews are like rocking back and forth, and they're praying the Torah. People have their crosses out, and people are weeping. And I go, whoa. And I look at the flight attendants, I realize they're strapped in and they got their arms folded and their eyes are like squinting super tight. And I go, oh my God. And then I said, uh, okay, God, this is all true. No, none of this is a, you know me. Yeah. I said, okay, if this is apparently real serious. And then all of a sudden I saw my entire life flash before my eyes, like a picture book. Like when you draw a stick figure and you make them walk as yeah. you flip it and it was three things that I did in my life that was really horrible. I was 23 at the time, I guess. I mean, when I was a little kid, I was five years old. We had a dog named Scamper and it always ran away and it wouldn't give you any affection. I used to walk the dog into the woods and I used to hit the dog with a stick because if I hit the 